General to the New York and joins us from the Big Apple. Uh, Ambassador Ito, welcome to the program. Uh, you know, this couldn't have come at a worse time, I suppose. Um, you know, we've got the French ambassadors heading, a uh, foreign minister, I should say, heading uh, to Egypt, Jordan and Israel from Friday into Sunday to be joined by Secretary of State John Kerry to try and defuse the situation. Uh, in your eyes, what do you think can be achieved on that front? Well, let's look at the sequence of events that led us to this point. Three innocent Israeli boys were abducted and brutally murdered by Hamas, who then started firing rockets, refused to accept Egypt's proposal to, uh, for a ceasefire, something that Israel did. And even during the humanitarian window of opportunity that was given to them by the United Nations, again, that Israel agreed to, they declined to accept that it kept on firing rockets, kept on launching rockets against Israel. So I think we get it. At one point we say enough is enough. And the government, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu and his cabinet, ordered the Israel Defense Forces to enter Gaza with one goal in mind, and that is to destroy the terrorist infrastructure that Hamas was able to build in Gaza in the last several years. They were able to amass no less than 12 thousand rockets. Fifteen hundred of them were fired at Israel, launched against Israel in the last ten days alone. This is an unimaginable number. This is uh, something that no country should tolerate and Israel is no exception. Ambassador Edo, um, you know, the, the, the situation on the ground there just seems to get worse and worse. I mean, uh, how confident are you that, uh, you know, the other parties in this situation, like the U.S. and Egypt, are going to be able to bring some solution to this situation? Because it doesn't appear as if much can be achieved. Well, you know, um, the fact is that two days ago, on Tuesday, the Egyptians proposed the ceasefire. Israel immediately said yes and Hamas refused to accept it. Uh, we have to understand what we're dealing with here. Hamas is an organization that is not about the creation of a viable, productive economy uh, in Gaza. They're about the destruction of the state of Israel. They even use the word obliteration in their charter. And they really offer no future for the Palestinian people. So the question that we have to ask ourselves, what do you do with an enemy that is committed to your destruction? Uh, of course, the answer is we have to constantly try to inflict harm on their terrorist infrastructure, try to deprive them from the ability to disrupt our lives so dramatically. Uh, we have to understand that, uh, thank God, we have the Iron Dome system that was able to intercept over 300 rockets that were on their way to major urban centers in Israel. But the damages to Israel's tourism, the damages to Israel's economy, the fact that we have millions of Israelis spending days and nights in bomb shelters, businesses are on the verge of bankruptcy. This is costing the Israeli economy billions of shekels. And uh, someone has to bring this into consideration. Ambassador, you say the goal is, is to destroy the infrastructure there. This is the first large-scale movement like this in about five years where uh, the IDF are going in to try to target the tunnel system. How long do you anticipate this incursion to go on? It's hard to tell. What I can do is share with the viewers the scope and the magnitude of the infrastructure. They have nearly 1,000 tunnels that link the Sinai Peninsula with the Gaza Strip to which they smuggle the weapons. They have another set of tunnels that actually link Gaza Strip to parts of the state of Israel. They use those tunnels to send uh, groups of terrorists who try to attack innocent Israeli civilians. This, our viewers has to have to know, that of the total number of fatalities and casualties between Israelis and Palestinians since the beginning of the Second Intifada in 2000, 72% of the total number of Israeli fatalities and casualties were civilians, which means that Hamas is strategically targeting Israeli civilians. This is their purpose. This is their, the war is not against Israeli military. The second goal operationally, um, uh, in addition to the tunnels, is of course the massive uh, depot of, of arms that they were able to create in the Gaza Strip. It's not okay. only the 12,000 rockets, many of them are stored underground, but it's also the workshops that, they, that help them produce locally uh, the mortars.
Ambassador, uh, we know that the civilian casualties is, is the big concern for all sides. All right, thank you very much for your time, Ambassador Ido Aharoni, Israel's Consul General. We'll be right back after this.